Hello, everybody. We are live. Hello. We are live <laughs> once again. Welcome to episode 45. I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. And I'm wearing a pink shirt, and we are husbands that cook. <laughs> uh, we're making something pretty cool today. Um, this is a, a new book that just came out from one of our favorite bloggers, Molly A. It's a short stacked edition. The name yes. of the book is called Yogurt. Yes. Every short stack edition is features a different ingredient, just one ingredient. So, for instance, they've done one on broccoli, one on ginger, mm. one on avocados. This one is just about yogurt. So it has um, all kinds of breakfast, mains, snacks and sides, desserts, which is what we're doing today. <laughs> and this actually came into the mail uh, yesterday, yes. and it came in this really thin envelope. I, I thought it was like a wedding invitation or something. It postcard. was so thin. <laughs> yeah, postcard, because this book is only 38 pages. It just came out. Yep. Um, there's 20 recipes in it, all yogurt themed. And yep. um, of course we pick cookies. Of course we, we pick have, cookies. Uh, sweet teeth here. Yes, we do. And if we we actually just posted the picture on our Instagram. Um, don't stop watching the show. No. After the show, you can go look at it and uh, tell us what you think. But um, yes, these are pretty pink cookies. And because this is Molly Gay, there are obviously sprinkles involved. Um, Such a cute little book here. <laughs> yeah, it's like bright pink pages. It's super fun. Um, there's like little illustrations. Anyway, the book is super cute. Love the cover too. Definitely check it out. And yeah, there's all, like cool I said, artwork. yeah, they're all different. This one is yogurt. Yes. Um, but yeah, it is a perfect day for cookies. It is, it is. There's, rainy. Uh, yeah, there's like these weird gray puffy things like mm. hanging up in the sky. I don't understand and, it. I don't know what it is. And there's this weird wet stuff falling from it. And I don't know. I don't know. What's it's that? very unfamiliar to us, but um, we're loving <laughs> It. It's it's so relaxing and cozy. Yes, it's very cozy. It's very green outside right now, which is really nice. Our plants are very very happy. Yeah, because uh, besides them getting water, it, it water it cleans off all the dust. Yes. On them, so everything is extra green and yeah. it's so pretty to look and out the window. Cleans the air too. I feel like the air here is much cleaner after it rains. Yes. It's really really nice. LA is known for not having the cleanest air yes. ever in the world. But yes, <laughs> but today it's wonderful. And today yes. we're gonna make some cookies and we're going to enjoy them in the rain. Uh, well. In the house, in the rain. But, in a pink uh, shirt. In a pink shirt. Uh, in not a pink shirt. But anyway. <laughs> Cookies. Cookies. So again, for anyone who's just joining us, this is episode 45 of Friday, well, Saturday Live. Saturday Live. Saturday Live. We used Live to do it second. every Friday at <laughs> noon, but we posed the question to you guys. We asked what day would be better. And everybody in the poll said Saturday. So here we are on Saturdays at noon, Saturday and it's life. so fun. We love doing it. Yes, and, uh, episode 45. For anyone who's just joining us, we are making soft yogurt cookies with raspberry glaze from Molly's new short stack cookbook, Yogurt. Yeah, such a cool book. 20 recipes, and we're doing cookies. So yes, we let's are. Let's get started. Let's do this. So, for um, those of you who have never made cookies before, um, they're all pretty much uh, very a similar. standard thing. We're going to mix all the wet ingredients in one bowl. This guy, Ryan, is going to do it. Um, I'm going to put all the dry ingredients in this bowl. We're going to mix the two together and... Uh, we're going to have cookies. We're going to have cookies. Uh, Wonder you know. Foodland said, hi, hello, Wonder Foodland. Hello. hello. Thank you for tuning in. So, like Adam said, we are going to start. I'm going to do some butter and sugar in this bowl, and I'm going to cream them together until they're nice and fluffy. And this butter has been sitting at a room temperature, although our house is a little chilly right now. Um, it's been sitting at room temperature, so it should be nice and soft. And uh, my ingredients are just flour, uh, baking powder, mm -hmm. and salt. Yep. So this will be allowed for just a moment. While he is doing that, I'm going to whisk, whisk these dry ingredients together. Mm. Cookies! Cookies on a Saturday. On a wet Saturday. Yes. Here in Eagle Rock. And I know for those of you on the East Coast, they're also suffering under some weather this weekend, I think. It's pretty snowy. Okay. Great. So when you're mixing cookies, so as you can see, the dough is about halfway done here. It's a little crumbly, sandy looking, and you want to go a little bit farther just until it gets kind of fluffy mm. and starts to stick together. Nice. Let's go like that. <laughs> your um, mixing music. <laughs> mixing music. So now as you can see, we have sort of a that's fluffy, pasty sort of texture here. And now I'm just going to add in a little vanilla. Mm. We're going to do a teaspoon of vanilla. And then as 
soon as we get this one mixed in. One of my in, favorite scents. I know, me I too. I love vanilla. Me vanilla anything. Me too. Me too. Michael me too. Adams Meals. Hi, Michael. Hello. hello Thank hello. you for uh, the lovely direct message that you sent us today. I, I'm so happy to know that our picture made your day. That Aww, made our day. Thank you. Okay, so we've added an egg and a little vanilla. I'm just going to mix this in really quick. But it is a very um, happy, bright picture. It you is. Know, it's, it's just such a fun cookie. It's a for those of you that haven't seen it, so we actually made cookies this morning and we posted them on our Instagram. Here's the picture, if you haven't seen it already. It's a fun yeah. shot with the yeah. sprinkles. Sprinkles make everything better, and I think that's one of the things that makes Molly Gay so fun, is she is known for sprinkles and her color and her fun. She makes um, just the most clever treats, um, yeah. and just great photography, and uh, she's, yeah, she's, she's awesome. one of the best, for sure. She is awesome. So now we are gonna, we have these, um, our nice thin batter here. This is just the sugar and butter, Smell. eggs and vanilla. Now we're going to add mm. the key ingredient in this book. Yogurt! Yogurt! So we title the book, <laughs> Yogurt. Yes, we have some plain yogurt here. We're gonna add that with the dry ingredients. You so, know, we were talking about, could you use Greek yogurt for something like this? I'm sure you could, but I think it's gonna mess with the texture just because the yogurt is so creamy and so thin. Yes, so she actually talks about in the book a little bit, in the intro chapter, she talks about the different kinds of yogurt Cute. and where you would use different ones. You know, obviously the Greek yogurt, which is really thick. You have this uh, non-Greek yogurt, which is a little thinner. Um, she also talks about French yogurt and also, I don't know how you say that, labneh, which is you said that right. even thicker yogurt, almost like a cheese. So we have the little bit of yogurt in there that's gonna give it a nice tang. Yes. And we're just gonna stir that cookies. in. And you'll notice that this batter is gonna be pretty thin. It's almost like a cake batter. Um, this is not a batter that you can roll into into balls like we did last no. week. No, this is, this is like way too thick. Yes, this is a lot softer because her, um, the idea for this was, it's supposed to be like, you know those black and white cookies? Yes, of course. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like that, but pink. Okay, so kind of <laughs> soft and... Uh, a little more cakey. Yeah, a little more cakey. Yeah, um, so as you can see here, this is a very thin, uh, well, I mean, it's not that thin, but this is a, almost like a cake batter, like that. So, Ooh, that's it. That's nice. That's Let it. Let me get this uh, baking tray here. Move all this stuff. Thank you for joining us on this Saturday afternoon. Um, I know that it might be evening where some of you yeah, might be watching. Yeah, where, where are you guys watching from? We're in Eagle Rock, which is just north of downtown LA. Um, so it is cool for us, but probably warm for a lot of you watching. It's, uh, it's a little bit rainy. In the 60s. In the 60s, but uh, yeah. Okay, and now we're gonna make cookies. All right, so how many does this make? So this should, the full recipe makes about 18. We're mm. gonna be, we're doing a half recipe, so a little bit less. But um, it's so soft, you can't roll into balls. So we're just gonna do little spoonfuls like this. We're gonna have leftovers, so if anybody wants to come and join us afterwards. Yes, please come over and help us finish these cookies. Here, do you wanna do some? Yeah, sure. Hold the bowl. Okay. And these will spread a little bit, so you just wanna leave a little space in between each one. But you don't have to worry about making them perfect because um, they'll form into circles in the oven. Like, they don't have to be Perfect when they go in. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, should we make about six to eight cookies? That's good. We can just stick with that. Okay. Okay. Our cookies are ready. See, they're not perfect. No, they're not perfect, but it doesn't matter um, because when they when they they melt down the oven and they make little cute circles. Hi, Emma. Hello. How are you? Are you in Napa today? <laughs> um, yes. So here's you can see there. Oops. We almost lost them. There they are, just kind of lumpy. Doesn't have to be perfect, don't worry about it, no pressure. Now they go in our special oven. That's gonna cook them in about 30 seconds. So <laughs> for those 12 or so of you watching right now, I wanna show you something that Emma texted me yesterday. Hmm. I'm not allowed to do this, but you guys are tuning into our show and you guys deserve an extra little treat here. So Emma sent me and Ryan a text. Hmm of a picture that she took mm. of the two of us. Let's show it real quick. I'm gonna show it for three seconds, and that's all you get. You don't get to know what it is or anything, but here it is on the live show, three seconds, one photo. One, two, 
Three. That's it. No more talk about it. What's the next step of the cookies? Next step of the cookies is they are in the oven. They're warm. They're smelling amazing. Mm, that's right. Oh my gosh. They smell like they're almost done. I think they're almost done. And thankfully, our oven has a magical feature where it bakes them almost instantly and it cools them off. It's our Hollywood oven. Our Hollywood oven. Because these cookies, we're going to cover them with pink frosting and they need to be cool before we do that. So we're so lucky that we have this feature because so I don't want to burn my hands taking no. these out of the oven. No, no, no. Oh, look at this. They're oh my perfect. goodness. And they're, look at that, they're already cool. Look at these perfect little Perfect cookies. bottoms. So you can see, even though they went in as lumpy, sort of misshapen things, mm. they came out as perfect little circles. And they're so light and soft. Yeah, they, oh, they're almost like cakey. Oh, they're so good. Okay. Those of you just joining, uh, this is it. This is Yogurt, the cookbook, the short yes. stack edition from Molly A. <laughs> I love it. This is our first short stack edition, to be honest. But, yeah. Um, they have, 32 other versions that they published. Mm -hmm. Some recognizable names on there. There's Susan Spongin. Mm -hmm. Austin Roman. There's some great people that have done short Dory stack editions. Greenspan, Ben yep. Mims, Don Perry. Lots of good stuff in here, so check it out. Yes. So we're gonna do a pretty pink glaze today. As you can see here, these, I don't know if you can see those. Uh, those are freeze-dried raspberries. This is such a great trick for coloring your food and also flavoring it, but um, you can get them at Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, uh, but it's just dried yeah. fruit, freeze-dried, right? Yeah, freeze-dried fruit. There's no sugar added, there's nothing else. We've made strawberry donuts with it. It's, yep, on the show. No artificial coloring, and it makes a really beautiful, beautiful color. And yeah, and they crush up really nicely. They crush up into like a dust. So you can use them, sprinkle them on top of stuff. It's wonderful. Um, I think I just saw the other day, um, Lily from Kale and Caramel did a chocolate cake with some raspberry dust on top. And beautiful. it was beautiful. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of mix those up. And it turns into this lovely. What's everybody's dust. plans for the weekend? Um, anything exciting happening? <laughs> So we have some raspberry dust in there. Um, we have some powdered sugar. And do you want to grab the yogurt? Yes, the magic ingredient. So this recipe has yogurt in the cookies and in the glaze. I love it. I love it too. And again, this is just plain yogurt. It's not Greek, um, just plain yogurt. Greek yogurt might be a little thick for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, right. <laughs> because this is Mollier, Yeah. Almond extract. That's right, that's our thing. Molly A is known for sprinkles, almond extract, maybe tahini, a couple other things, but um, yeah, the almond extract really makes it, I think that's what gives it a little bit of that, um, that black and white cookie flavor. I'm not the hugest fan, I like it, and in, in some cases I actually really like it, but there's a lot of times where it interferes um, for the flavor of things for me personally. But again, like it's something that I, I will enjoy, but it's just not my first thing. Like sometimes if I taste something that has a funny flavor, once I like figure out that what it is, it's usually the almond extract that does that. Yeah. But, but then there's like the stolen that we enjoy <laughs> mm. um, during Christmas time, and there's big pieces of um, marzipan. Of the marzipan, and mm. I really like that. So I don't know. It's just kind of like all over the place with it. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. I mean, I could eat almond flavored things all day, all night, every single day. Um, but that's actually one of the few things that we have a little bit of difference on. Yeah. We're so lucky we're very because similar. almost everything that we eat, Hi, Laura. we agree on. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for joining. Okay. Uh, we are making a fun recipe today from Molly Ye's new cookbook called Yogurt. It's a short stacked edition, 20 recipes, 38 pages. And Super cute. Uh, we are doing the soft yogurt cookies with a raspberry glaze. Mm. Um, you can see we're making the glaze here, and I'm wearing a pink shirt to match the glaze. <laughs> of course. I see a wonder food land said, I'm going to be take, talking about food photography and styling with phone camera for the first time here That's at awesome. this place. So cool. And uh, Zelka, I don't know how to say it, but hello from Croatia. Hello, hello in Croatia. Croatia. Uh, and thank in you for Greece. tuning in. I love this, you guys. This you guys so are the fun. best. This is so fun. So fun. I want to visit Greece. So, but we were actually just talking about that the other night. How we it's want to go high to on the list. It's very high on the list. So we have this pretty pink glaze here. And then we're just going to kind of spread it on the cookies. Let's like do a couple. Yeah, let's do a couple. Let's go like this. I'll do one. And then maybe you can do one. Here, you want to do one? Yes. Look how cute that is. Oh, and it smells right. You can smell the raspberry. And you can smell the almond. Mmm. She's amazing. Oh, Jody. Hello, Molly's mom. Oh, hi, Jody. Your daughter is so talented. We love her cooking. We love her cookies. She's awesome. She's awesome. <laughs> I'm so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Um, so here we have our 
pink cookies Look here. Look at this. Not done yet because done as yet. Jody knows, these are not complete cookies without sprinkles. No, you gotta, you can't have a Malier cookie without sprinkles. Absolutely so not. we're going to take some sprinkles here. There right we go. Top. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look how cute it is. Adam had a good point. It kind of reminds me of those circus animal cookies. Do you remember those? It does, but the flavor's not like the this. The flavor's not this like that. This is much better. Look how cute that is. So nice. Okay, should we try it? We should. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. We are Husbands That Cook. We're in Eagle Rock, California. Yep. We do this every Saturday at noon, and we love it. It's so much fun. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to all of you. Cheers to Molly. Mmm. Mmm. They're so soft. So in this situation, mm. I love the almond extract. I think Good. that without it, mm. it would just be too tart and just, mm. um, I feel like this gives it a little bit more character, a little yes, more, and more personality. More depth. I like it. I like it too. These are so good. These are amazing. They're, and they're so pretty too. Like this would be perfect to serve at a party. Definitely. Oh my gosh, this would be so cute all Perfect the way down to eat on a rainy afternoon here in Los Angeles. That's what I plan on doing. These will be done by the <laughs> time we get to lunch, but. Yeah, um, maybe done before the end of the show. Mmm. Yeah, no, we're, so good. We're cooking from another cookbook next weekend. Mm -hmm. We'll be here at the same time, uh, 12 o'clock, doing something from Alaska from Scratch. Another yes. fan. Yes, uh, um, Alaska from Scratch has a gorgeous cookbook. We're going to be talking all about it next week. Um, it's all inspired by her life in Alaska, so it should be really cool. And uh, so awesome. yeah, I think we're going to eat the rest of these cookies, mm. and we're going to get our Saturday going. Thank you Definitely. so much for joining us, guys. This is so fun, so as much. always. Thanks for joining us from all over the world, from Greece, Croatia, everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> if you guys ever think of any questions, feel free to ask it on our Instagram page or on our blog, whatever you want. Just come and find us. Send us a DM. We yep. answer all of our questions. We love hearing from you. Yes. And uh, I think that's about it. I think that's it for us, guys. We'll be back again next week, same time, Saturday at noon. We will see you there. And until then, have a great week. Have a great weekend. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.